Okay, uh, John, we're reviewing your video here, the one that was uh, lost in the shuffle. So this is today's version. But, um, you know, when we get into a mode, we, uh, we don't ever go into another mode, okay? Uh, and that, that is, you don't, you, you don't overdo the new. There's always some degree of the old which will come back and bother you. So you're over the top. That is your old. Okay, there's a couple things about your backswing. If that's as far as you want to go with it, if that's as far as your, your, your body will allow, or if that's as far as your custom, and, and that's where you feel comfortable, that's fine. You don't have to have a longer swing to have a, uh, a better swing, but you need to swing on a better angle and more from the inside. So let me go um, over here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now right to about here, your club's in a pretty good position. Okay, I might want to close this gap to help you stay inside. I might want to close this gap in here a little bit and put your arm a little bit more across your chest like his is. If you watch how tight he is to the chest going across here. But I want you to bring your attention to another aspect of it. Do you see the club at the top? Okay. Now here's where you lose it in your backswing. The second part of it is very vertical. Okay, so your club's at the top here. Uh, 80 degrees or thereabouts. And here's one here at 60. And then when it comes down, it goes really back into the side and down to that angle, doesn't it? So yours comes down even steeper and outside. 70, 45. So you've got two things going here which would make it difficult for you to get the face of the club square on a consistent basis. You've got over the top and you've got a steep transition in your swing which is also opening the face. So for example, take a look now your, your swing and Garcia's swing here is just about the same point in the downswing. All right, so your arms are about oh yay high, and his arms are about yay high. So you're about the same, all right? Well, now I want to show you this part here, which you might um, learn a lot from. I'm going to draw a line down from his club here, and I'm going to draw a line down from the butt of your club. Do you see how far out your hands are? His are back still behind his right shoulder, and yours are under your left shoulder. So watch where that begins. Right there. It's straight out over it. Now, when you hit the ball like that, if you start out that steep and that far outside, you have to do something to bring it back. Right, and so you, in that much time, you can't always count on it. So you see where this is coming? It's coming from outside the ball, and it's going to the left. So if you do hit that ball solid with a square face, you're going to pull it, and the out to in path, if it hits it at a different point in the arc, the face would be open, and you hit a big, weak, high block like you did on your driver today. 
So bottom line is this, we have to do two things, get you down more inside and get your club down flatter. It's not just inside, it's not just not come over the top. Oh, that it would be that simple. Uh, but it isn't, it's golf. Um, so I want to get your club, see how you got a big cup in the left wrist and the club is damn near vertical at this point. I've got to get the club a little bit more like that with a flatter left wrist and definitely have to keep your hands from doing that. That's, that's an ultimate no-no in everybody. And you had this before too when I last saw you. But, you know, I don't know what to degree. This could be a lot less over it than it was, but is it over it? Sure it is. And that's the number one cause of slice in club golfers. The old over the top move. And then if you hit a couple blocks, a couple slices off to the right, then it becomes even more exacerbated, right? There it is right there. So there's no down with your hands, it's just an out. You have to do what you can to feel like you're just dropping your hands in your back pocket. There's really no drill for that, except to get rid of the slice. That's why I made your grip a tad stronger so that if you do come over it and there's why you hit the heel. Okay, let's go back here a minute. Okay, there is impact. And there is starting point. So you're already reaching for it. You've got quite a bit of a gap in here. And then when you hit the ball, it's, it's a huge gap. So your hands are out so far out from your body that you hit the heel. And as I explained to you, when there's contact in here, the flight will always have some of this sort of spin on it. So I'd like you to work on not only coming from more inside with a little flatter club, but I've got to get your hands closer to your body as you come into the golf ball. That's going to be huge for you. It really is. And no matter where you come from, inside, outside, or straight down the line, if you hit the heel, it's going to have some big old slice on it. Different swing, same move. Different swing, straight out. Look how far out your hands have gone there. Different swing, straight out. So now the hands are out here. And they started in there. So they've got to have a heel hit, right? And, you know, you can self-correct, too, because you play a fair amount of golf at the last minute on any given swing. You could pull it back in and hit the middle. But let's just get your hand path in, get your swing more from the inside, and you won't have to make any compensations. You'll hit the middle a lot more. And the difference in hitting it here and hitting it in here is not just uh, no right spin on it, but it's a lot more yardage. You know, the reason the tour pros, a lot of them will look smooth and easy when they're hitting a golf ball is they're just dead hitting it in the center of the club. And if I can get your hands to stay a little closer to your body, I think you're going to be hitting a lot more in the center of the club too. Okay, there's your swing analysis, and uh, good luck with that. Looks like we got one more driver swing on here, and it's very consistent. So let's just feel like, you know, there's a, you know, right here, there's a, a brick wall or something and, and you have to drop those hands down inside. And there's a crash into the wall. And contact near the heel. 
So work on getting those hands down inside, John, and I think you're going to be doing a lot better. All right? Good to see you again.